Good morning. Today we are on Saxon Book 3, Lesson 52, and we're going to talk about length and width. So this may end up being the shortest lesson of the entire book because really there's only one thing that I need to share with you, and that is what is length and width. So typically when we're looking at a rectangle, we look at the longest side and we call it the length. So in this example here, the length goes horizontally and the width goes ver vertically. And that's because the longer side is horizontal. In this one, the length is vertical, the width is horizontal, and it's because the longer side is vertical. So think length equals longest. And if something is asking specifically for the length, you're looking at the longest side of that rectangle. The width is then the shorter side of the rectangle. So we will have a lesson activity that we'll be doing when I meet with you in person a little bit later today. You'll have, you do already have that in your lesson plan packet for the week. And that one we'll do together, so you'll need that in a ruler. Right now, I would like for you to pause your video Turn to page 284 of your textbook and measure the shapes that are in the lesson practice. So for lesson practice A and B, it gives you two rectangles. You're going to measure the length, measure the width. Pause, do that now, and then I'll tell you the answers when you come back to me. So for shape A... Which one is the length? Does the length go this way horizontally or does the length go vertically? The length is horizontal and that measurement should have been one and one half inches. The width is vertical and that measurement should have been three fourths of an inch. If you got that right? Give yourself a pat on the back. Awesome. You're ready to move on. If you got that wrong, ask a parent or a homeschool teacher to look at you as you measure it again to make sure that you're holding your ruler correctly and that you're reading the marks on the ruler correctly. All right. For B, which one's the length? Which one's the width? Hmm. B looks like a square. So we don't know the difference between length and width, they're the same length. There isn't a longer one. So when we're talking about a square, we actually just call it side length. There is no width because all four sides are the same. But you should have measured both sides just to make sure they really were the same. And the length would be one and one fourth inch. And the width was also one and one fourth inch. Again, if you got that correct, give yourself a pat on the back. Awesome job. If you got it wrong, have a parent take a look and make sure that you're measuring correctly. All right. Lesson practice C says draw a rectangle that is one and a half inches long and one inch wide. D says draw a rectangle with four sides that are each one inch long. What kind of rectangle did you draw? Pause now, do those, and then come back to me in just a moment. So for C, you're going to have to have somebody at home check your work, take them your paper and your ruler and say, is this the right length? For D, you should have what kind of rectangle? It's a special kind of rectangle. It's a square. You should have drawn a square for problem D. That's the end of today's lesson. Please work on your written practice, which begins on page 284 of your textbook. Have a great day. I'll see you soon.